y'all welcome back to my channel and today i have a really fun video for you guys we are going to be flipping through uh my 2024 planner from like the first six months january to june so if you want to see all the fun spreads that i've done so far this year stick around because that's coming up right now y'all welcome back and like i said we are going to be flipping through the first six months of 2024 in my uh, planner for like the first six months so i am switching over to a new planner after this week if you guys did not see my planner lineup i'll throw it down in the description box you can check it out it'll be below for you i'm like a little sad because i think i am going to miss this planner i put it together myself I combined, like I put the pink discs with this cover and I have been using like this dashboard. It kind of reminds me of Arendelle a little bit um, from the town from Frozen. And then I just combined like the guts from another planner with it. Um, and I really just gotten used to it. It's become kind of a little bit of a comfort for me. So we'll see how this transition goes. I am going to be flipping through all of my spreads, so I can't wait to look back through these with y'all. And honestly, I know there's going to be some gaps in here because I wasn't super consistent. So we're going to just find out together which weeks I ended up not planning. <laughs> so without further ado, let's just get started. So obviously this is the first page. You get your hello page with my name on it. And I just love this inside cover. It's it's so pretty. I love it with the light pink discs too. So we're going to go straight to January. This was my January monthly spread. I went with a really fun New Year's Eve like theme. Um, and these stickers I believe were from Live La Posh. Um, you guys will notice kind of like a trend with me is for my monthlies. I do typically try to go some sort of like holiday motif or seasonal and obviously it was january new year so i went with a really fun new year spread and i really like how this one came out i like the colors my word for the year was forward and it's kind of funny because i do feel like i've i've really started to progress in a more forward way just like moving forward letting go of transgressions and stress and just keep looking to the future i feel like i've really embraced that this year even though i've had some really tough moments this year so that is the January monthly. And this was my very first spread. Again, another New Year's Eve theme. I mean, another New Year's spread. Uh, this is also Live Love Posh, but this is from a different uh, sticker book. And this was just really fun and colorful. I decided to keep like the classic New Year's colors, the gold and the blacks and the silvers in the monthly and I did my weekly in a really fun color theme. I actually was reflecting at the beginning of the year, which is really nice. I haven't done that in months now. <laughs> um, and it looks like I actually was tracking some different stuff here. And I don't know why I stopped doing that. I, uh, wow, I think I only did it one week. I only did it one week. <laughs> um, but important, is just boxes I use for the week. And then looking ahead is things that I have going on the following week, bills and then reflection. And then obviously you can, you guys know I've been using a dashboard planner, so that's what this is. Um, yeah. All right, the next week, um, the week of January 8th to the 14th. And this one is actually one of my favorite spreads that I've done. This is a really, really cute Winnie the Pooh theme. And I use this with the True to You sticker book by the Happy Planner. It's all Winnie the Pooh stuff. And you can see I did reflect again this week. And that's, I immediately went to the meals thing. So um, we had New York coming up. Start packing New York. I had an interview with Disney that week. Really sad about that. I had to turn that job down. <laughs> but yeah, this one is really cute. It's definitely a really cute spread. Um, this spread was like kind of funky. I put a few different types of washi tape and stickers together. You can see this one's pretty um, simple. I didn't do a ton of stuff in here. Um, 
I did reflect. This is when I officially got certified with um, Disney to be a travel agent, so that's really fun. And uh, yeah, I like the washi tape. I don't know, it's different. It's kind of cute. Um, this was a sheet that I used from, oh my gosh, I don't even remember. I haven't bought from her in ages. Um, but this is January 22nd to the 28th. You can see I didn't really write much. The spread was super simple. I did reflect, which is great. And then we're moving into February. February is my Valentine's Day theme for the month. And I did like a Mickey and Minnie love theme. And I really like how this one came out. Super fun. It didn't have a didn't have a ton going on this month, so um, this sticker sheet was another one of those like little sticker kits from another shop that I had purchased a long time ago. Um, at the beginning of the year, I was kind of trying to use up some old sheets that I had, um, so that's why you see this still reflecting, which is great. I lasted a little bit more than a month, <laughs> and this is the week from January 29th to February 4th. Um, this was the week that we went to New York. So I think that's kind of why I went with like a little fashionista spread. And then the next week, nothing. <laughs> I was probably like super like in a funk from the trip and everything. Then I did like this cute little Valentine spread. This is another sticker sheet from uh, Something Designs. She's on Etsy. Um, Jameson Reed, I think might be her name. Um, the cute little sticker sheet kit that I did. Looking a little bare, but that's okay. Still reflecting. This is another one of my favorite spreads. This is a sticker. Um, these are stickers from one of the Happy Planner sticker books. I'm not sure which one. Might be Tiny Florals. Um, I really like how I did the bills over here. I should do that again at some point. Um, this is where I stopped reflecting. I don't think I've ever picked it back up. <laughs> Um, this was the kids' winter break week, February 19th to the 25th, and um, I did go to Mystic. It was cold um, with my friend Mel, but that was fun. And I really like how I combined some of the black with, like, the greens. I thought it came out really cute. This is where I started using some stickers that I bought off Amazon. They're just, like, a bunch of vinyl stickers and waterproof stickers, but... It was something that I've seen people doing online on Instagram, and I was like, ooh, I kind of love this. And I just ordered a huge pack of random stickers, and I started going with like the color theme, and this one was all pink. As you can see, I didn't really write in here. I just put our appointments in and then the menu, but that was it. And I really like the washi tape too, and it was just fun and different. All right, we're heading into March. This is one of my favorite monthly spreads that I did so far this year. Um, this is an Easter sticker kit from Live Love Posh, and it's so fun. It's like got that groovy 70s, like 60s, 70s vibe to it, and I combined St. Patrick's Day stickers with it. So I'm always struggling with um, Easter lately this year and last year because it fell in March, and usually April I'll do Easter, in March, I'll do St. Patrick's Day, but the last couple of years, they've both been in March. <laughs> so I was like, how am I going to do this where I can incorporate both? So what I did is I just picked an Easter sticker kit or stickers that had greens in them. And then I took some of the St. Patrick's Day stickers in the Retro Holiday Sticker Book by Live Love Posh and combined those and brought out more of that green. And I just, I love it. I think it came out perfect. Okay, then we get into the first week of March, March 4th through the 10th. Uh, clearly, I just did a bunch of stickers. I didn't really write anything down. Probably didn't have too much going on that day, but it definitely looks like I could have gone back in and wrote some stuff, and I just never did. Um, this is some stickers from Passion Planner, and I combined it with some, like, black floral washi. Not really sure if that was, like, the best choice. I think I was thinking color, not necessarily design, so... I definitely, you know, the colors definitely do match. I do like these Passion Planner stickers, although I just don't know if they worked in the dashboard, but I mean, I guess they're kind of cute. Okay, this one was a pen only. Clearly, I had to write stuff down, but I didn't um, end up doing any stickers in here. As you can see, we're still not reflecting. <laughs> okay, so this is actually one of my, another one of my favorite spreads for this year so far. These were stickers from that sticker pack that I bought off, off of Amazon. I had gone through those stickers when I first got them in and literally put stickers together with it to make kits. So that way when I went and picked my set, I already had my stack pre-done. like pre -done. 
and the washi tape that I use is from Sweeping Plans and it went so perfectly <laughs> with these stickers and I love how it combines like the purple with the maroons and then like a little touch of yellow in there. Um, I just came out so, so cute. It's one of my favorites for sure. Another week where I didn't plan. This is March 25th through 31st. And then we're going to go into April. So April, I used a Happy Planner st sticker book. It's a newer one. Did like all kinds of fun colors. And I just, I was really just feeling spring. Like I wanted just spring vibes. Fun, bright florals. And I did bugs. And I think it came out so, so stinking cute. Again, didn't plan. <laughs> the first week of April. Uh, second week of April, April 8th through the 14th. And this was the week before spring break, I believe. Um, I didn't reflect, but these are stickers from one of the new Happy Planner sticker books. I, I don't know if it's Shibori. might have been the Shibori one. It reminds me of like Greece. I wanted to go with like Greek vibes. And I think it came out really, really cute. All right, so the next spread is spring break, April 15th to the 21st. And this is another one I uh, used with those stickers that I bought off of Amazon. Very unique color palette, honestly. And I love how down here came out. I really wish I had reflected that week. Um, but as you can see, I really fell short <laughs> of, um, you know, doing the things. I We did do everything. We went and got ice cream. We went to the zoo. We went to the two birthday parties the twins had. Um, but I definitely wish I had filled this one out because I feel like it would be one of those spreads that would have looked really cute filled out. So I was kind of a little bit of a missed opportunity there. But nonetheless, I, I really love like using these vinyl stickers. It's a really fun way to do a spread. And I really don't know if I'd be able to use these in the vertical. We'll see um, going forward. But okay, this one's so pretty. I honestly hated this one when I finished it, um, but it definitely has grown on me. And these are stickers from Live Love Posh. They're from her new Mystic Babe sticker book. And I really love the colors, like the mint green and the really light lavender. It's just really, really pretty. And yeah, I love, I was like heading into like my like witchy mystical, you know, from like April to July, I feel like I'm in this like phase of like just all the spiritual things. <laughs> all right, heading into May. This is my favorite monthly I have done in this planner. And this is from the new Bambi sticker book from the Happy Planner. It's chaos. Like this spread is insane, but in the best way possible. So this was actually our Disney trip month. And I always do a Disney themed spread when we do our Disney trips. And I also happen to have this new springy Bambi sticker book from the Happy Planner in May is spring, you know, May flowers. And I was like, this is perfect. So that's what I ended up going with. And I love it. It's chaos, but I love it. <laughs> All right, so this was the first spread of um, the beginning of May. April 29th to May 5th. And I've gotten these stickers from a store at Mystic Village. It's a Harry Potter themed store and they have these really, really cute Honey Duke stickers. And I've had this washi tape for so long and I've really been wanting to use it. So that's what I did here. Definitely a lot of white space in this one, but I love the color palette. And another one of those spreads where I feel like if I had finished filling it out, it probably would have looked better. Okay, the next week I didn't plan. <laughs> this is May 6th to the 12th. And then the next week, May 13th to the 19th, this was the week that the Bridgerton series finally released. And I had these amazing Bridgerton sticker books from the Happy Planner that I bought off Amazon. And this spread is insane. It's humongous. <laughs> the colors are very rich and sultry and that's what Bridgerton is. And that's just basically the vibe that I wanted to go for. It definitely made it a little bit more difficult to like read certain things. Um, and I used a lot of bigger stickers. So they kind of overtook the spread a little bit, but I love this. I think it's so cute. Like you, you flip to this and you're like, oh yeah, Bridgerton. Okay, this is another one of my all-time favorite spreads in this planner. 
uh, for this year so far. And this was the week that we went to Disney, May 20th to the 26th. And I had these adorable stickers from the Happy Planner. I had bought them off of Amazon. They were from the Disney 100 collection. And I, I just wanted something fun and funky and dis just like throw up Disney <laughs> for this spread. And I think I did exactly that. I love how it came out. I actually reflected, which is wonderful. Um, and I love how I incorporated all of the black. So like I decided to do like all my boxes, black boxes pulled out from this washi tape. And then the color came from the rest of the stickers. And it's just so cute. Okay, next week is May 27th to the beginning of June, June 2nd. And I went with a blue theme, again, with those big vinyl stickers. And really, really cute. I remember it took me a really long time to find washi tape for this spread. <laughs> um, but I finally found some. And it's just really cute. All right, finally into our last month, which is this month. We're in our last week of June right now. And this is my monthly spread. This one is actually kind of nice. So it's not like in your face crazy, but there's enough to like fill up this, you know, fill up the pages. These are stickers from Live Love Posh. I believe these are from the Beach Babe sticker book, I want to say. Um, I went with like the lake motif and I've been reading a lot more lately. So I threw some uh, book stickers in there and I really love the colors I chose. So I went with like a super beachy vibe. So the really light cream and the really light blues. And yeah, it's really pretty. And I this was the first month, I believe, yeah, that I didn't use boxes. I did highlighting for everything that we had going on. And then this is my insert for June. This is my summer bucket list. And we're steadily working on it. I have no idea how I'm going to get this into my new planner because my new planner is not disbound. Um, I'm regretting it more and more and I haven't even started the planner yet. So all I did was plan July month, my July monthly. So I'm like already like, oh shoot, I should have bought a Disbound one. But I like, I just didn't like, I if I bought the Disbound vertical layout, um, the vertical line layout, I would have had to buy two planners and combined them. So that's why I didn't. Cause I, I honestly, I hate the aesthetic of the Disbound um, vertical big app lined. But uh, yeah, I don't know what, what's going to happen. We'll see how long I last in this new planner. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's going to work out, guys, but <laughs> we shall see. Um, so I have no idea how I'm going to fit this in there. I'll figure it out, hopefully. Uh, but this is my little summer bucket list sheet that I made. And we're currently working away on it. And that's just, I keep that in my monthly, my monthly spreads. All right, moving on to the first week of June. So this one's super fun. I told you like spiritual witchy vibes going forward here. Um, this is June 3rd to June 9th. This was my birthday week. And I went with a very like mystical, lavender, like light, pastel -y vibes with butterflies and black cats. I know it's such a weird theme, but... I just wanted to do something different and it ended up being one of my favorite spreads. So I wanted to have lots of self-care quotes and just my favorite color is purple, but I also wanted things that felt like spiritually connected. We've got like the little stars and the butterflies for my Nana. And then I love cats and I've just been wanting to do like a cat theme and I was like ooh black cats butterflies galaxy spirit like it just it just felt right and I know it's so different but it, I love it I think it came out so cute I actually wish I had recorded this one because I think it would have been a really really cute one to have as a video for you guys something different but uh, one thing I really wanted to do was fill this out this week and I never did um, it was, what if you simply devoted this year to loving yourself more? And I was going to just reflect in that, um, but I never did. Okay, next spread, June 10th through the 16th. I went back to those big vinyl stickers. And I don't know why, but this kind of reminds me of Harry Styles a little bit. <laughs> um, just a lot of fun, different, funky colors and just out of the box type stuff. And that was what I wanted for that spread. And I went with the really fun checkerboard colored washi tape 
and we went with this like pinky red color and like a golden yellow you're so golden do do that's what this reminds me of this spread reminds me of his song golden <laughs> okay next week is june 17th to the 23rd and this one i use stickers from the happy planner i don't remember i think it was like sunshine vibes might be the name of it and this one came out really cute really fun I know I've kind of been slacking on the bill section area, but it is what it is, y'all. You focus on different things throughout the year. What can I say? <laughs> I love the little quote on this one, doing what you love is never a waste of time. So that one, that was nice to read. Really needed that. So yeah, and I'm just going strong with my menus. And I just really like how I like layered some of the stickers in this one. Came out cute. All right, and finally, we are... At the end of June, this is the week we're currently in, in, June 24th through the 30th, which means next week I will officially be in my new planner. And this one, I just wanted to go with classic, clean, neutral, simple colors. And I used the Ink and Arbor sticker book by the Happy Planner. And I think this one came out really, really cute. Um, I went with like grays and blacks with a little bit of pink. And then I used my black and gold palm tree washi tape from Simply Gilded. And yeah, it's really pretty. I really do like this one. It's kind of just like calming and peaceful. And that's sort of what I wanted for the end of, of this planner. So that is it for this flip through. I hope you guys liked all of the spreads. I really had a fun time with this planner. It's a little bittersweet for me because I am moving into like a new layout and I'm not sure if I'm gonna miss this or not. I have like, not a love-hate relationship with the dashboard, but I have, my relationship with the dashboard is like, I don't know, it's like, I love it and it works for me. I It really did functionally do its thing for me this year so far, but I don't get excited about it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's functionally working, so I'm going with it. You know what I mean? And I think I kind of needed that the first half of this year. I just needed something easy and simple that worked and I didn't really have to put much thought into it. And that's pretty much what the dashboard did for me. But I do miss planning in my vertical. It does take more brain power and more creativity. <laughs> and especially with the vertical line because that one takes even more because you can't, I use that as like almost like a to-do list so yeah um we shall we shall see we shall see i almost wish i had went back to the vertical line classic but it was never enough for me it was never big enough that's why i decided to go back to the big but honestly i'm really like already like i love this size the size of the classic happy planner is just perfect the big is huge and it's like i need more of the space that the big has but it's so big so I did buy a backup regular vertical lined, I mean, vertical planner. So your girl might end up in that. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But yeah, that is it for this flip through. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Looking back at all the spreads with me. I had fun with it. I did have fun with it. Am I ready to move on from it? Yes. Am I going to miss it though? Yes. So it's always kind of bittersweet, like closing out a planner and moving on to a new one, especially when you're like me and you tend to switch out halfway through the year. One of these years, I will remain in the same planner the whole year through. We'll see. <laughs> I would like to remain in the same one at least once for a whole 12 months, but you guys know how I work. I can never stay committed to something for too long as far as like my planners is concerned. I see something new and shiny and I just want it. So, <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up, please, as it really does help out me and the channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for checking out the video. I would love it if you subscribed by hitting that subscribe button down below and you can join by Planny Fam. And make sure to hit that bell notification too so you don't get so you get notified the next time I post more planning videos just like this one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Happy planning and stay magical. Bye.